Welcome to the family! Hey everybody, you have McGann the Fangirl, and I am here today to make a shadow box of my daughter's Cub Scout stuff. I did a very similar one when my son crossed over to what was at the time Boy Scouts and what's now called Scouts BSA because he also earned the Super Achiever and I thought that was really worth celebrating. And besides this shadow box, which I did get at Hobby Lobby, I think it's like $25 originally, but I got it half off, so just wait for a good sale. Ooh, that's why I had these face down because those pins are all scratchy. And then I might use packing tape I might not. We're just gonna kind of have it off to the side in case we need it. And I've got a decent pair of scissors, some of these little push pins to help keep things in place if we need them. So the first thing I'm gonna do is take this off so I can quit covering this section because it does say not just the pack number but when it was established and where it's located which is information I don't really want to share with the internet. Safety first everybody. But I do just want to take a minute to show off because I'm really proud of my daughter for earning all these pins. She joined in February 2018, crossed over in February 2019, and she said, I want to earn everything there is to earn. So we did all the pins. My son had also earned all the Weeblos pins, but there were fewer of them. There were only 20 back then. To make this fit well in the case and have it a nice display item, I have to cut these colors. I'm just going to cut as close as I can to the metal. Uh-oh, we lost one. Uh-oh, we lost two. Okay, we'll put those back on there in a minute. And it is just going to put some bits of whatever this stuff is made of everywhere, so be prepared for that. And now I'm just going to cut over again to try and get all the excess bits so none of them are visible at the end of the project. Unfortunately, when they switched from 20 pins to 27, they did not make these colors any bigger. And they need another flap for those because it's just not enough space. Okay, took a time out for a minute so I could kind of repin the pins to make them fit a little bit better. They are still in order of how she earned them, so I tried to keep them that way the best I could. But let me scoot all this out of the way for now so that we can start working in our Green Tree Gallery brand shadow box. This one is 19 by 7 inches. They do have various sizes. You'll just have to figure out what you need. It was originally $23.99, but I had a half off coupon, so there are total ways to get that a good bit cheaper. There we go. Now I'm gonna move the glass part out of the way and just work with the mat which has this kind of spongy backing that's great for putting stick pins. And it came with four so we're gonna reuse these as much as we can. And now we're just gonna work on getting our layout back how we wanted it. She did get the arrow of light which I would have put under here except she can wear it on her Scouts BSA uniform pretty much until she's 18 so I'm not gonna take that off. And also where these are kind of frayed at the top you could either try to super glue the top of it together so that it's more firm and it's not going to come undone anymore. Or you could always try to take a lighter and sort of singe the edges so that they melt together. And any younger viewers, please remember that you have to have an adult help you do this. This is not always a safe crafting project for you to do by yourself. Okay, we're just not going to really push anything in yet because we want to make sure we get our spacing just right. I'm put you at the end. And we've got our... 27 patch and the flaming narwhals emblem. I actually have a little bit more room than I expected to have so I can either space these out or I can put in her arrow of light card just so people can kind of see oh she did get it. I think I might go for the second option. Oh you know what I can do? I didn't realize I could do this until just now. If you have a way that you can safely pop this up you can take these little plastic guards off Hopefully you can see what I'm doing, but there's just little plastic pieces that's holding the... Oh, gosh. Well, if I had realized I could have done that, I would not have cut it. But now what I'm going to do is I'm going to put the plastic pieces on and I'm going to leave them on kind of towards the end. So that way it'll stick a little... Well, maybe it'll stick. What's wrong with you? I might have to get something to snip these ends off because it seems like it's way too long to go in how I want it. All right, we're crafting a bit on the fly now because I ran into a little hiccup. I realized that to tape this down, I don't want to use the packing tape in case I need to take it out later. And I don't seem to have any paper 
retainer's tape or scotch tape that wouldn't be as rough or abrasive on the card, so we're just gonna kind of work this the best I can. And what I'm gonna try to do instead is that you might be able to see these little tiny pinholes in there from where she got the Arrow of Light Mother's pin. So I'm just gonna slide one of these in here. Just one of these little stick pins. And okay, that holds pretty well actually, so we'll, we'll go with that. There's a little tiny thing up here from where things were stapled together. So let me see what I can do. Doop -a -doop. Uh, it's not perfect, but it'll it'll hold for now. Next, I'm gonna be using the stick pins to get down everything else that I can. Whoops. Keep those pins looking nice in here. And I do really favor the stick pins for this because you never know what you might have to take out later for some reason. Ooh, that's starting to fray like crazy. So good thing we're not really gonna touch this after we close it off. And for these patches that have the pocket piece, I don't really want that getting in the way, so I'm just gonna fold it down and kind of pin through it if I can. That should at least hold most of that down for me. Maybe not. Maybe the better solution would be to slip this up here so that it doesn't pop the badge up so much. Yeah, that looks pretty good, I think. So I'll just slide that back in. There we go. That looks decent. This one's pretty thick. I can feel myself scratching the back of the board. So for this one, I've tried moving these little clear circles all the way towards the front so that maybe it'll go in far enough to stay, but not quite right. But it's all right. Hey, crafting isn't about being perfect. It's about enjoying what you're doing. And I will probably go back through and take a picture of the finished project just so you guys can see how it all turned out when I was finally done. Okay, so here we are with the finished project. I did end up pulling out the colors and burning the edges at the top just so that they melted together and they won't come undone in the shadow box. And then as an afterthought, I bought some of these command strip hooks and I hung her arrow of light off the bottom of this so that way we have a place to store it because hers didn't come with any kind of plaque. Anyways guys, thank you so much for watching this craft project and we'll see you next time family members! If you had fun watching today's video, don't forget to subscribe so that you can see more and let us know in the comments what other toy videos you might want to see in the future. Also, don't forget to check out our other channel, The Fan Girl, where we talk about all kinds of movies, TV shows, and even books and comics. But viewer discretion is advised. See you next time, family members!